Today I will show you how to install the OverDrive app so you can listen to audiobooks and read ebooks on your Kindle Fire. To begin, you will need your Kindle Fire and your library card and PIN number, the same library card and PIN that you use when requesting books through the Minuteman Library Network catalog. To start, you will need to allow third-party apps to install on your Kindle Fire. So you will go into the system options, which is the wheel in the upper right hand corner, and you will tap on more. And you will go down to device and tap on that. And you'll scroll down where you will see allow installation of applications. And you'll want to make sure that that is turned on. After you've done that, you'll go back to the home tab and you will want to open up your web browser and you will want to take your web browser to the website www.overdrive.com forward slash software forward slash OMC that's short for the Overdrive Media Console in order to get this website, uh, you, may, you may experience a problem with your Kindle Fire where it's not loading the web page, and you may have to disable the Silk uh, Browser Accelerated Page Loading. Uh, I'll have a link to that underneath this video in the comments section or in the uh, summary of the video section. Uh, so if you don't see this web page, it's not loading, uh, go to that link below and you follow the instructions uh, and then you can come back to this step. But for those of you who can see the website, uh, the OverDrive uh, web page, you'll want to, on the right hand side here, it will show choose version. So the first step is that you want to choose the mobile Android version because uh, the Kindle Fire runs the Android uh, platform and once that's loaded you'll scroll down here and you don't want to tap on where it says available in the Android market what you want to do is you want to click on this link or tap on this link where it says download overdrive media console directly from overdrive so when you tap on that you'll get a page of terms and conditions so you have to accept the license agreement so we'll tap on I agree And once that starts, the download begins. Now we'll see that there's a number, uh, there's a little one in a circle next to where it says Michael's second Kindle. So I'm just going to tap up there, and that gives us a drop down of all of our downloads that are going on. Now that is finished downloading, we'll tap where it says download complete, and it asks us if we want to install it. So down here, we'll tap on install and it's going to install. Now it says that we're finished, so we'll tap on done. We can go back to our home tab and we'll now see in the uh, lineup here is the Overdrive Media Console. So you can tap on that to begin your app. It's going to come up with this about page so we can just untap this where it's saying show its startup and we'll dismiss that. So the, if you wanted to learn how to use this, they have a really nice Welcome to Overdrive Media Console download. Uh, you can navigate the Overdrive Media Console using this middle option here uh, for settings. So let's go in and what we have to do, the first thing uh, before we start getting books is we have to tell the Overdrive Media Console where to go in order to get books. So we're going to tap on Get Books and it needs us to add a library. So if you have a library card at, say, the Boston Public Library, you also have a library card for the Minuteman Library Network, you can add those two libraries to this list in order to be able to download uh, perhaps more, uh, more items if you're really a, a voracious reader or listen to a lot of uh, e-books or audiobooks. Uh, you can have them both as options for places to download. But we're just going to add the Minute, Minuteman uh, network, so we'll tap on Add Library. We can find the library by name, city, or postal code, so we'll just tap in 
0.2482, and we'll click on search, whoops, I had one too many twos in there. Alright, try that again. Now we see at the top we have the option for Wellesley Free Library. It's showing us a lot of other options here for libraries in the neighborhood, but we'll just choose the Wellesley Free Library. Last but not least, we have to highlight that by tapping on the star. So when that star turns to orange, uh, we'll now have that listed uh, in our libraries that we can get books from. So again, we'll go back to this middle option. Uh, we'll tap on Get Books, and we now see the Minuteman Digital Media Catalog is listed on this. So we can tap on that, and it's going to open the OverDrive website where we can navigate, uh, download, check out uh, ebooks and audiobooks. So the website that you see here is the same website that you would see on a standard computer. Uh, it's the full website for Minuteman. And on the left-hand side column, that's perhaps the most important part of all of this because we have the option for searches. So we have quick search. Uh, we also have our advanced search. Uh, now, I also neglected to point out that we also want to make sure that we sign in uh, when we start because libraries in the Minuteman Library Network and all libraries that participate with OverDrive are given the option to buy specific titles just for their residents. So the way that works uh, in the Minuteman Library Network is that the network buys a core collection of books and then the individual town libraries are able to buy additional books just for their residents. So if you first sign in, you'll actually see that there are more books available to you than if you weren't signed in when you begin searching. So always, as a rule, before you start searching for books, sign in first. And that's using the same login that you use when you're checking out, or I'm sorry, requesting books through the standard Minuteman Library Network catalog. So back to the searching, uh, we have a quick search. There's options to choose among formats. Uh, the formats that you want to use when you're using the OverDrive Media Console is you want to make sure you choose from the Adobe eBooks or the MP3 audiobooks. The WMA audiobook will not work on your Kindle Fire. And if you just needed to check out a Kindle book, there's a much easier way to do that. Uh, and I have another video for just using Kindle eBooks for the Kindle Fire, so you can look at that in our list of videos that we have. I also wanted to show you the advanced search. So in the advanced search, this is a really great way to just browse and see everything that's available uh, to be checked out of a certain category. So let's say that we want to see what uh, Adobe eBooks we have available that we can check out. So I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to choose my uh, Adobe eBook. I'm going to go down and just show titles with copies available by tapping on that and hit search. So let's download just one of these books at random here. Uh, let's do Debbie Maycomer. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we add to cart uh, for the Adobe EPUB book rather than the add to cart for the Kindle book. So let's do add to cart on that. And let's say that we also want to go back and we want to get an audiobook at the same time. So I'm going to continue browsing. And I'm going to go back to my advanced search. And I'm going to, among my formats, I'm going to choose the MP3 audiobook. Looks like it didn't take there. Let's try that again. All right. And... I'm going to choose only copies with titles available and hit search. All right, so we're just going to choose the first one here, 11 birthdays. Uh, again, we want to make sure that we choose the right format. Uh, we have two formats here, the WMA audiobook and the MP3 audiobook. Remember, WMA does not work uh, with the Kindle Fire, so you want to make sure you choose the MP3 audiobook. So we'll tap on Add to Cart. So we'll now have these two items 
in our cart we'll have our ebook and our audio book and we're going to proceed to checkout now we can choose how long we want to check these books out for uh, ebooks can check out for up to three weeks audio books for up to two weeks uh, so do that just with these drop downs here so let's just do the minimum for both of these and we'll now tap on confirm checkout and now for each of these we would tap on download and it's going to open up the overdrive media console and start downloading our new title so we see here it's saying that it's downloading in our audiobook and when uh, we want to go back and start downloading our uh, ebook let's go back to the web page that we were on and we still have to tap on download here for the ebook so again it's opening up uh, the overdrive media console now because this is an ebook uh, we need to have an Adobe ID uh, that's free to act uh, free to get uh, they don't send any spam or anything like that so you would just need to get ID uh, and once you do that you'll type that in and it'll start downloading okay so I've signed in and enabled the downloading of Adobe books so I've downloaded both our ebook and our audiobook and now it's saying that my download queue is empty so I'm going to go back into the settings and we've got our options of bookshelf or get books we want to choose the bookshelf because that's going to be where our items are that we can read or listen to so now we see we've got our ebook and our audiobook if we tap on that it will start playing uh, the audiobook uh, we've got options here for forward, backward, pausing. Uh, we can also look at the list of parts that we've downloaded of the audiobook. I haven't downloaded them all, I just have the first part here. Uh, we'll also take a look at the ebook. Uh, so we're going to go to our bookshelf. And so we've got our ebook here. So we tap on that. Uh, again, they've got a little first time you use this little blurb about how to use it uh, so we'll go ahead and close that out and it's loading our ebook and now we have the beginning of our ebook so we can read that as we like and uh, that is in a nutshell uh, using the overdrive media console app for your kindle fire if you have any questions or need any help uh, you can call the library if you're a resident, the Wellesley Free Library at 781-235-1610 or contact your local library and they'll be able to help you out.